today I'm going to teach you how to use your brain's natural hardwired instincts to learn a memory technique that truly feels like a hack in the matrix. I'm Jessica, I'm a political scientist and spiritual advisor, and I love teaching philosophy and I love teaching you today. So thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And if you're watching this video, I hope you are so blessed and I hope you get something out of it. Thank you for joining me. Please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. And what I'm talking about as far as hacking your brain is a technique called the Mind Palace. And the Mind Palace utilizes what we already instinctually do as humans, something hardwired into us with object placement. And we can basically use that to learn lists of things or chronological order of things. So very handy. For example, I was able to learn all 46 presidents in order using this technique. Let me just jump right into it because no more hesitation. Okay. When you enter your room, uh, let's give an example. You're walking through your front door. It can be your house or a house or a place that you know. Not important the actual place, what is important that you know the layout and where the different furniture or maybe fixtures are in the room. So each part of the room will be given a number one through five. The example I'm going to use is the living room that of the house I was living in when I learned this technique. The front door would be considered one. The couch was two. The TV was three. Uh, the fireplace was four and my fish tank was five. Okay. We're going to use the first five presidents as a example for this. We're doing a patriotic theme today. <laughs> so the first president was George Washington. So what you want to do is assign a image or a action to the the number for which you're trying to remember. George Washington, George Washington, rolling through the front door. He's the first president. Okay. Number two, John Adams, the second president of the United States. That was my couch. So I just imagined uh, someone I knew named John sprawling out on the couch. And then I remembered that John Adams was the second president. Okay, so the TV was number three, and that would be the third president, Thomas Jefferson. And for that, I'm more familiar with different government things than most people, but I know what the Jefferson Monument looks like, so I always have the image of it on the TV screen to remember that he, uh, Thomas Jefferson is the third president of the United States. Okay, for number four... I had the fireplace. The fourth president is James Madison. What I am, what I imagined for that was someone burning up in the fireplace. They'd be pretty mad, son. Like James Madison is our fourth president. Now, number five was the fish tank. And that would be James Monroe, our fifth president which ne rhymes with Nemo, Monroe, Nemo. That's how I remember, remember it. So hopefully I've explained the mind palace and not too confusing of a technique. When you want to move past five, you will go to the next room and give that a the same way. You'd start from left to right, perimeter of the room, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one day you can remember random facts like myself, like the 19th. So whether you're trying to pass some kind of test or impress your friends by telling them all the presidents, literally no one is impressed by that. 
maybe YouTube will be, I don't know. But this is a great technique. I hope you give it a try. And love you guys. And see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.